Let's go to our field correspondent, Andrew Nobleman. Andrew, where are you? Currently, I'm on top of Mount Everest, a uh, normally frigid mountain, but as you can see, it's become one of the hottest places to go to. It's better than Jamaica. Because of global warming, this place has totally melted and it has flooded the towns below. This is obviously a great summer resort, and I'm enjoying my stay up here. You're telling me you're at the top of Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, the top of the world. That's where you are right now? Yes, up in Tibet. It is pretty obvious uh, global warming has had its effect, and I don't mind. I thought I was coming out here to frigid temperatures and a, another busy work mission, but it, I'm having a good time. I'm surrounded by females in bikinis. and uh, Women in bikinis? Mount Everest is at the top of the world. It's a barren tundra. You clearly have grass and trees going around here. I mean, evolution is the darndest thing. I swear these trees have just sprouted since I've been here. It's, it's pretty cool. Trees don't just sprout up, Andrew. It takes years for them to grow like that. Well, because of, like again, as global warming has happened, uh, the trees have caught up on thousands of years of hibernation and sprouted immediately. Kind of like an old man seeing young females walk by. That's an image I don't want to have. Now, Andrew, tell the truth. You're not really at Mount Everest, are you? Uh, another insult to injury. I am on Mount Everest. I've wasted two weeks coming all the way to the top of this freaking mountain. And uh, besides this hedonism resort on top, there's, it's pretty barren. There's no resort at the top of Mount Everest. And global warming, as you know, has been disproven. Well, that appears to be your Republican state of mind, but... In a democratic society that we all live in, uh, globalism does happen, and so does Darwinism. And as the tree surrounding me is proof and evidence, plus my plane stick at stub, I am here at Mount Everest. Globalism? You don't even know what you're talking about. Now, where does your ticket stub say you flew into? Uh, no, it actually says somewhere in Tibet. I forgot the name. But I was fortunate enough to meet the Dalai Lama, and that was pretty much the sunny side version of this whole journey. You met the Dalai Lama? How's he adjusting to all the changes? Uh, he's pretty all right. He's pipping shades. He's still back in the 40s mentality, but he's catching up. Darwinism, you know, he's, he's almost in the 90s. Thank you, Andrew, for uh, going out to Mount Everest and bringing us this story. Yes, I appreciate that very much. Hold on, ladies. So I must go resort back into my little tent and try to make the best out of this somewhat report journey. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Nobleman.